Mary me and welcome to the Enchanted Oak. Today we're going to be making this dragon pendant. I will list all the tools and materials needed down below. So let's get the camera set up and see how it's made. All right, to get started, um, I mixed some white polymer clay with turquoise to get this color here. It's just a lighter turquoise, kind of offset on the dragon here. Um, and I just used a round cutter and, and cut it out. So that is going to be our center, our backing. And we're going to take and put our stone just in there. There we go. Just like that. Now this one has a little chip on it, so that's why I'm kind of doing this on here. Um, we'll have our, our dragon's head resting there. So we're going to do... Um, I'm going to take the turquoise that I have and we're going to go ahead and make the head. Correction, we're going to start with the tail. So I'm going to run this through just, just a little piece of the turquoise. I'm going to run it through the largest setting on my pasta machine to get just this uh, line or like that. Um, let me move this off to the side here. Actually, I want to put it on here. I like having it on the lid so that I can move it easily if I need to. And on this here, we're just going to take a cutter and cut out our tail. It looks just like a little leaf. All right, set that aside. We're going to need that later. So what we're going to do with our tails, we're going to kind of squish it down around the edges. So I have a shape similar to this. Like I said, I'm going to take and kind of flatten it just a bit. Now, what I'm going to do it's kind to make a little indent there. All right, so as you can see, I indented and I kind of rolled it. I guess I could do it like this to make it bigger because that's where when we wrap the tail, that's where the tail's going to join with here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and place that tail right there. So the tail, when we make it, will come out here, curl up, and then go around to the head. So now that we have that, I'm going to take my turquoise again. Um, you don't need too much. It's a little pinch. I'm gonna roll that into a ball. And then we're gonna kind of make the head. So it's more of an oval. And I want to press down somewhat. It's gonna look kind of like a snake head. I don't want to flatten it some more. There we go. So there's what we have with that. Let's kind of squish this here. Now, I do want to kind of map out where I want my eyes to be. Okay, so 
we're gonna take out kind of want to press this down just like that just I have it like this just because I want the the ridge in a way we're gonna go ahead and set our dragon's head on there and as you can see it's covering up the chipped part now um where'd it go i have a tool that i use for texturing i just want to texture a little bit you won't see all of this texturing um, once we finish because of the pieces that we're adding but it's there. All right, so next we're gonna take some white, actually, some black. I'm gonna do black for the eyeballs. Even though it's going to be painted, we're going to do some black for the eyeballs there. It's a little bit bigger. Let's cut some of that off. Try to make them as even as possible just because I want some symmetry going on. And that's close enough. So we've got the eyes in. And we're just going to press it in there. Now going to take some more of the turquoise and we're going to roll out really thin bits here. That came out a little too thin, so let's my cutter. So we go ahead and we're gonna take and put it around the eye. Cut that off there. And take and do again around the eye. Now, as you can see, it's it's not perfect. We're going to fix that. Too. I'm going to take make sure I have the space in there. I'm just going to texture it. I'm going to pat it down. It also works the clay up to make it a little more even. Looks like an eye now. All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, of course, you're not going to need as much as I cut off there. You just need a little bit. I'm just going to roll it out. Be a little smaller there. There we go. Oh, 
Oh. Don't rip it off like I did. I thought it had cut. I guess it didn't. Okay, so we have the top. Let's see if we can get the bottom. Reroll this out. Okay. Not wanting to. Oh, wait, let me do this. Off. Do it down here. All right, and again, oh, I lost the tail. Okay. So we're going to take, and with our dotting tool, just kind of squish it out, make it textured. And it's not entirely the same. But that'll work for me. So, let me take and start adding some detail here. So, I'm just going to take and make Now, how you do your dragon is entirely up to you. You don't have to go exactly by this here. Um, again, up to you on that. I'm going to put a little this some lines indicating that there's a mouth there. All right, now I'm going to take this color. Well, no, we need the body first. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I know. All right, so I'm going to take the same color. So we did the head and the tail. I'm just going to move this aside here. I'll put it right there. We're going to roll it out. Now, the thickness is up to you on um, how you want to do it. And you want it to have a big wide body that will cover the whole thing, that's fine. It have one end tapered smaller because that's where your tail's gonna be, and then it'll get bigger as it wraps around. So I'm gonna just roll this. And you can trick it. Okay, so we're going to, so it's gonna wrap. And that is actually, I think, perfect. Now, oh, let me do this here. It's a little longer. But I want to bring this in curl. And then I'm going to take this here. Now you don't have to worry about, you know, there's a seam there. I'm kind of blending it here. So you can't tell it's obvious, but it's not going to be perfect. But we'll hide that with texture. Again, like we did with the head, we're going to take and just roll this for the body up down the tail if you want to do the sides you can 
and it's not yeah, there we go so you have your body of your dragon here now it's time for details and this is where we're going to start using um, some blacks some the lighter blue that I have we're gonna mix it in there and start making some different textures here now you can ship here I do have this one that I did as well it is all white um, once it's I haven't baked it yet but once it bakes I'm gonna go through and I'm going to paint it and then I have this one here that I've done where I've put pearlex pigments in, in just certain areas to highlight. I'm not going to do any painting on it. Um, it's black labradorite in the middle there. Um, and it's just little bits dusted on. We're not going to paint this one. We will be doing dusting with the pearlex pigment. Um, so you will uh, see how that does before baking. Right. Just getting this mixed up here so there's no... Uh, this kind of got a white marbling effect in there. So we're going to roll it out. I'm just going to move this over here. All right, just like that. All right. So we're going to take our cutting tool or razor blade, whichever you prefer. And we're going to just cut out some little leaf type shapes. I believe I have a cutter. Let's see. I do, because that's a little big for what I'm doing. I don't think I have a smaller one. No, I don't. You can use a cutter for it. Um, you could do it like this, like I'm doing, and just cut it out yourself. Make some extra, some smaller. I'll do one right here. All right, so let's pull these aside. Pull, pop them out. If they get this form, that's fine because you're going to be manipulating them here shortly, anyways. There we go. So let's turn this around here. We're actually going to be putting the back pieces to it. So we're going to kind of flatten these down just a bit in our hands. Nothing. And what I do here is if you see, I kind of put my thumb and kind of turn it some so that it fits right up against. Okay, and now you can, once we do that there, you can take and kind of bring it out some, up to you. And then just keep doing that. All right, we're going to, no, I don't want to flip it. I guess we're going to go all the way up till we get to the 
back of the thing. Now, I will say this. Um, in these other ones that I did, I punched a hole near the top. We're actually not going to do that with this one. We're going to actually insert a ring um, to make the bail um, after for you know so after it's baked because I well we could put it right there, but the head is crooked and I did not leave room here for it, so we'll just be inserting a ring through the base there. I want to just get these put on. making the points. There you go. Alright, so now that we have those, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to add these like they're connected to the tail. No, I take it back. I'm not. I'll leave it just like that. Because I, if I was going to do that, I would have added a bit here so that it kind of looked like it was a tri-tail. So I wonder what it would look like if we connected it like that. I'm just looking. I didn't not entirely sure if this is what we're gonna do here. But I just wanna see how it would look. Yeah, I kinda like that. It's kind of like a water dragon going on here. Um, so I like that tail. So, let me, there we go, perfect, looking good, all right, now let's go back to his head, um, do I want the marbling, no, why not? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to roll this out. Now, where you place these is entirely up to you. And you can put a few, you can put a lot. If you want it to curl and loop, 
you can. I'm actually doing two. You can see on the other two here, we've got quite a few on that one and on the black one as well. Um, actually, you know what? I want to add a few more. in It doesn't have to be any rhyme or reason of how you place these, how big you make them, how long you make them. I'm just putting it in. I'm letting it do its own thing here. One more right there, I think. I think that looks good. Now I'm going to take some white. And let's see, how do we look at this? Actually, let's. Yeah, let's do some white. Right, we're going to do A little balls to put up here. For one, it's going to cover up the 
the tip so it's gonna make that look better but it's also going to give you some you know more dimension to your pendants One more, one a little one. Right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we will be dusting that with um, a Perlex pigment. When I decide the colors we're gonna do. Um, and then next. Hmm. Let's go back to white. We want to do the swirls. You know what? We're going to do those. But I want to make these lines really thin and dainty and so we're going to roll out some white. Here, that's it. And we're just going to do it just like that. Now I'm going to take this end and I'm going to kind of tuck it in. So it looks like it's coming from underneath. Same with this. Okay. Then we're going to take and we're just going to put some dots. Now I'm going to kind of map out where I'm going to put the dots. Three, one. All right. And I just do that so that for one, it'll sit better. Um, the, the dots are there. Um, so let's go ahead. Now, I don't want them like horribly small, but I don't want them huge either. So let's see what we can get here. There. So as you see, like this spot here and this one here, we're going to want to make them smaller um, because we don't want them touching the, um, the white line there. And again, they don't have to be perfect. It's your creativity. Yeah, that works. Let's get the other ones in here. Rolled up and in there. If I don't lose them. <laughs> 
Now, of course, you know, the end of the tail, you're going to want it smaller because it's the end of the tail. It's thinner than the rest of it. So, obviously, you're going to want the, the dot smaller. And not only do you, using your dotting tool to put the dot in to help, you know, with where you're going to place them, um, it also helps with getting them in there. Because if I didn't have those dots, they would want to roll all over the place until I could get them pressed in there. But it kind of helps get them to set in the right area. And then it helps to... Uh, so when you press it down, it doesn't slide everywhere. All right, one more. Actually, little. And put a little one right there. And this one. Right here. So we have that. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna texture um, the little wings or flaps or whatever you wanna call them. First, I want to kind of fix this here. There we go. Give it a little bit of a curl. All right. So we're going to take is my flat ended kind of chisel type thing that I use. And I'm just going to press in the center, starting at the end. I'm not going all the way up. Let's see what we're doing here shortly. Let me get the little ones there. Now taking the pointy straight end, I'm just going to use that as a guide. So we're just going to kind of fan it out like a feather. And you want to make sure you get this part of the tail down below as well. Just so you have a texture. Now, if you were doing like um, a wood dragon or an earth dragon, you can make these actually leaves, um, fire, same way. But I like using this to texture my wings just because it doesn't make them so plain. Gives them a little life. You get to the tip. Now with doing this, it may pull some of the clay off. That's fine. You just wipe it off. Make sure you don't press too hard to where they try to fall off. If you can, try to get like the tip of your finger underneath there. Just to counteract that pressure so it doesn't go flying off. Here we go. Add a little more here. There we go. So we've got that textured. We're going to go ahead. Oh, don't put right there. Let's put a stone. I know it's already got a stone in the middle, but I want to put something right there. I'm 
oops, maybe like that. Like, you know, let's see. I'm gonna take. Notice I'm putting black in here. I said I was gonna use black, but I changed my mind, it seems. Let's see how this works. You know what, I kind of like that. Actually, I want to use the lighter blue. To pinch off a little bit of that. Flat it down. No, that takes away. All right, so we're not going to put anything there. Now we might. Let's go back to the. Let's get some black. Don't know what I'm doing just yet. <laughs> but let's see if we can't. Make this into something really good. this in half. See if we can get it to fit in. And a half. No, not really. Let's pull it out of there. Okay. That'll be fine. Then I see if I like that. Mm, no. But what we'll do is I'm gonna put some swirls. In there. Kind of like water. Like I said, this is my a water dry in from that I'm making. So I'm do that here. Alright, so now you could stop right there, go ahead and bake it, be done with it. You can go in and um add some more details if you want. You can stop here. At this point, I'm done. So, I want to get, I know I have a blue. I'm going to use um, pearl X. We're going to do pearl white. Yeah, pearl white and sky blue. Feel focus. It won't. Now, for the 
sky blue. I'm just going to dip my finger into the cap, pick up some on my finger, and I'm just going to pat it over the white. Just the white. You don't want to rub because it's going to pull it up. But the, and it's not going to cover the whole thing. It's just going to kind of give it a little shimmer. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better. We don't want it to go away completely. We just want it to stand out a bit. So there we go. Now with the whites, I want to just do a dusting of the wings and tail and then the hair. So I'm gonna change it completely. And you'll notice that I am using my finger. That is because I don't want it to get into the little grooves. So let me show you. Dip. See, it makes it stand out. And it's not going to cover the whole thing. My finger is not small enough to cover all of them, or the whole thing in some areas. So you're kind of just accenting it. And it's kind of make, enhancing the texture as well. So let me see if I can get... Um, I would not recommend a brush because the brush will start depositing it into your texture lines. And then it, it just doesn't, it's not enhancing it anymore. It's just blending it all in. And same with the hair or tentacles or whatever these bits are called. It's not changing the color. It's just adding a little highlight to it in some spots. And then I'm also going to do this here, the nose. And I'm also where we textured our water. I'm gonna get in there as well. Now with that, since my finger can't get in there all the way, let me see if I can find it. You can use a Q-tip or an eyeshadow brush. I have an eyeshadow brush here somewhere that I was using. Oh, it broke. But just a tip of it. I wipe off all the other colors. And I just do it a little bit and buff it on. There we go. So we are done here. Let me show you how we're going to do the hole for our ring. I'm going to take and get a ring that I'm not about to use for something else. Let's do Let's find one. That was kind of mad. This one, though. This one's blue. Alright, so I'm just going to take um, a ring, a chainmail ring. And see, so we're going to have it up here. My cutters. Mm. 
All right, so let's put my ring together here. So I'm going to take, so we're going to basically have it like that. You can push it in. I like to take, it's like that, and push this in first. And then kind of wiggle. Can't get a good angle there. And then we'll take the ring we just dropped to the floor. That has magically, you know, disappeared. Never to be seen again. All right, so take and push it in there. Now, what? Oops, sorry. I will take a little bit of bacon bond. Just need a little. I will put it in there. Can it even it out? Just like that. So when I bake it, that's going to be your pendant. 